welcome friend um, in this lecture we are going to actually create some weld work and we'll uh, create some jobs build jobs so here uh, go to the client master and now new item now i'm going to create a new uh, maven project so i'm going to show a demo how to uh, how to do the uh, the build maven build and how can we push the artifactory to the all the artifacts to the artifactory server that's what will be my um, demo in this uh, lecture so here uh, we can see if you go to the github and jfrog dev we find a lot of sample projects are there uh, examples are there so i'm going to use those examples to build and push the code and artifacts right so here i just um, create uh, item called maven example the the maven example and the maven project and click ok and uh, here go to git and uh, repository url i did it all so here it is github and the project example here it is actually if you clone here this one so just copy and you can paste it here right there is uh, it's a public one so no need of any credential but if you have your personal you can actually take the uh, login and password for your uh, github and put it and okay i am going to not build triggers i won't have any just i'll manually build it so but i'll have the build environment and i'll have the release management to build environment is the release management and here i want to have the result the artifacts from artifactory okay so resolve it for that if you click here it will show the artifactory which already we have configured in the during configuration so this is the artifactory and just do a refresh if you would refresh repositories you see that uh, these are the artifacts the repository available go and log in again to the artifactory to check admin and you can check artifactory uh, these are the artifactory uh, repos available and that's what it is showing here so you can choose i can uh, release i can release and this is the snapshot one so just choose them here then uh, okay here i am going to use Maven ex the Maven example and goal install. Okay, and this is the goal I want to have just install and uh, then add a post build action. And this is what I'm deploying artifacts to the artifactory after the build. Include patterns and okay, here are the now. It will be by default selected and again do a refresh here just to allow the reports to be visible and do a lips release local and lips snapshot local okay so these are the two um, reports and to have uh, deploy maven artifacts capture make sure the capture and publish build in for is selected and if you want to do a license check you can do that and and if it is not uh, you can send if it's violating license you can send an email to you can put an email id here and that's uh, more of setting of different parameter uh, different configuration parameters for our build the project to build and to save it right 
here now you see that uh, the artifact build info came right uh, if i so i previously built actually this so these are all builds so um, here now my maven example project is uh, ready uh, to be built and uh, this is in my uh, client master go there and make sure you are in the client master and we are here now go to the example and click build now build now it is scheduled let's see if i can run the build pending and okay it's pending now see where the build is running is it running in the sleeve just go, go here and node is unleashed if you see that node is unleashed to my client master for 22 seconds when i started the build actually the build is running in the shared sleeve it is not running in the master it is running in the sleeve which is so this is now leased to the client master okay that's what it is mm. example and last build one 28 second and is it is still running and here you see the you can see the console output the build is going through and it is a success right so you can now check it artifactory build in four click there and it is now going the build one which is uh, just now right uh, <clears throat> which one um 14 this is two, this is 16 8 14 and 15 this one is now okay so now go to this one and you can check uh, the modules the environment issues the license summary and if you have done previously i did what the difference actually you can check if uh, what the difference it makes with the previous build so there are lots of uh, some differences you can see what are the previous build what are the different artifacts differences and general build info and here a uh, build environment you can filter with different values so uh, let's be java environment variable um, no okay they're all important actually uh, we you can get environment variables and published modules you can check these are the modules we get why it is not coming really zero variables go to the previous builds artifacts um, previously it came so why this time there is no environment variable one list modules let's refresh hmm. okay no issues recorded okay so these are all of the release history if you see that uh, okay build json file in position so uh this 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 is just to show a demo of a simple build with uh, 
the artifacts post into the artifact frame okay so you uh, can go uh, to from here you we can go directly to the Jenkins server again right so here if you build and the CI server continuous integration server here I just click and I came back here so this is the artifactory and and this is the bad so here uh, this concludes our uh, build demo and um, so here from uh, you, you can go to artifactory and from artifactory you can uh, come back to the Jenkins servers and because both are now uh, connected and now if we go back to our slave uh, now you see that as our build is over it is available for leads so anybody is running uh, a build they can actually uh, lease the uh, shared slave based on the availability and the operation center is going to leads to different uh, uh, masters that is the build masters uh, here the build master is like the client master and it's nothing but the Jenkins enterprise with this I, I conclude uh, my build demo here and uh, hope you enjoyed it liked it and thank you very much for watching thank you